Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy here at Prairie Sports Village and I'm going to do an updated what's in the bag. Now, <laughs> as you know, I like to dabble around, I like to test my clubs, I like to put new clubs in the bag and this probably has taken a different shape again to the one that I did, when's the last time I did one? June, just for open qualifying. There is some clubs that are still in there but a lot have been replaced. So let's start off with, let's go driver. This driver has now been in my bag for over a year and that is some record. It's the TaylorMade M1 460 driver, the big size head. I've got it in 9.5 standard loft, I've never changed the loft settings. I've got the weight on the front just a notch closer to fade, a tiny bit closer to fade and then the, the weight at the back all the way at the back. I still love this golf club, I have no reason to change it at all. I do, I love it. I love the look of it, it performs well, it spins well, and I just really do, it does hit all the right ca uh, categories for me. I've got this in the Rogue Aldila 70 gram shaft in extra stiff. And unless something comes out and it's probably for me looks better than this, that's gonna stay in my bag for a while, unless something comes out that looks better than that. Then I've got a new golf club, a new three wood. I've always, I don't know, I've always had a love-hate relationship with three woods. I mostly hate them, but sometimes love them. And this one I do sometimes love. I've hit some phenomenal golf shots with this. This is the new Titleist 917 F2. The F2 is the bigger sized head, but shallow. So I like a shallow looking fairway wood. Because I hit quite shallow and almost up on my fairway woods, I prefer a low profile so I can get the club, the ball uh, to hit the high side of the face. The weight I've got in the Surefit CG channel at the moment is neutral. I've not messed with the weight settings at all yet. And I've got this in 15 degrees and standard. I've not changed the, the sure fit neck, neck at all. I've got this in the Diamana 80 gram shaft and the X Flex as well. And I just love the look of this golf, golf club. And when I hit it, I hit it really well. I just need to uh, maybe hit more golf balls with it. Okay, so then moving into another club that's been around in the bag for a long time, the 2-iron. This is in 18 degrees, and it's the Callaway Apex UT 2-iron. I love this golf club. If I've got a shot and I've got to feel confident off a tee, I go with the 2-iron. Um, I've got this in the Project X 6.5 shaft. I love the look of the head. It performs well, and it's an absolute flying machine. And again, because I prefer hitting an iron more than I do a wood, this gets played much more than my 3-wood. If I've got a, drive, a hole where I can't hit driver, I'll pull the two iron out of the bag almost immediately. Then I've got a little bit of a gap between my four iron. My foot, so my 18 degree two iron is 18 degrees. And then my four iron is 24 degrees, I think it is, my four iron. And my iron set now from four down to pitching wedge is the pink eye blades. I've had the eye blades in the bag for now, probably about nine weeks, 10 weeks. Uh, really like them. I love the look of them. I think they perform brilliantly. Um, I just think they look so classic. I've always liked ping golf clubs. I've had the S56s, S55s. Then I moved into the Ben Hogan irons and I've kind of jumped back into the ping irons here. I just love the look of them. I think they're great. The only ones that are potentially a competitor at the moment are the Mizuno JPX 900 Tour. I do like the look of those a lot. I need to do some more testing. But I love these. I think they look really smart. I do love the finish. Um, they feel hard. They're not soft. I, I like that to a degree. So that's the ping eye blade irons from four down to pitching wedge. And then moving into my wedges, I'll go with my gap wedge and my sand wedge first. My gap wedge is the uh, Voki SM6 in the black finish. I've got an F grind, which is full grind. Therefore, the bottom of the golf club is very standard to the normal set of golf clubs that you would get. Uh, my initial stance in the bottom, which was very nice of Voki to do. I like these wedges a lot. They're not super soft, but they do feel good. I've got in a 52 with eight degrees of bounce and a 56 with 10 degrees of bounce, both in the black finish. The 56 is an S grind, which I believe is a little bit more of a wristier grind. So you can open and close the face if need be. And that's good for a 56 because you can add a bit more loft to it when needed. And then my 60 degree, well, <laughs> that's a vacant hole in my bag at the moment because I did have the SM6. But on my recent trip to Spain, you know, it's like playing in buggies. I've left it somewhere and I never retrieved it, which is a real pain. So I've got two wedges in my bag at the moment that I'm about to test and probably one of these two is gonna fit the bag. I've got the Cleveland RTX 3, so the new Cleveland 60 degree wedge. And I've also thrown in the Mizuno T7 wedge, both in 60 degree. I think those two wedges are gonna take the place of my 60 degree wedge that I've got. 
never to be seen again. If you see a Vokey wedge on eBay with the initials RS stamped into the back, please let me know. And then a new club I've got in the bag as well. And this, again, it's a bit of experimenting at the moment. I've not set my stole, set everything in my, in my bag is kind of up in the air. Apart from the driver, I, anything could really change. And this is similar with the putter. I'm actually trying this new even roll putter out. And this is a um, designed by a Gurin Rife, which I believe made Rife putters. Even roll, apparently it's this new phenomenal technology that gets the ball rolling better. I just like the head shape and it feels fantastic. I've got a thicker handle in it. I need to work on my putter, putting, but I like the look of this club head. When I sit it down, it sits very square. I like the longer back on it. it reminds me of a, an old Scotty shape, what they call the long back shape, which I really like. Simple white line at the back, two white dimples at the top, and very, very good looking club. And it does feel great. For measuring device, I use the Bushnell Tour X. And at the moment, because I've not been playing in so many competitions, I've got the red uh, attachment on, which is um, illegal to use in competitions, but it allows me to pick out the slope. If I want to turn it into a black version, I either spray paint that, I'm joking. I turn the black, I put the black version on and then that stops the, uh, don't forget it, that stops the slope setting on it. So that then that's legal for tournament play. Very handy to have. So if you ever see a Bushnell, a Tor X, and the player that you're playing with in the competition is using the red adapter, that is illegal for competition use. You can claim the match and disqualify him. And it's golfer's arrest. And then golf ball, again, it's a little bit debatable at the moment. I have been using the majority of this season, the Callaway Chrome Soft, but I fancy going back into potentially the Pro V1s, Titleist Pro V1s. I will do more testing around that. I'm kind of still using Callaways because I've got a few left, but I might be moving into the Titleist Pro V1 soon. So as you can sense, it's a little bit up in the air at the moment. Nothing has got a fixed spot. The only club that I feel like has got a permanent spot at the moment is my driver. Everything else is kind of slightly up in the air and whether new stuff comes out. At the end of the season, moving into next season, that's when the majority of the new stuff comes out. So let's see what actually starts to unfold. And what I'm going to do this year, uh, when it comes to the crunch of actually selecting my clubs, I'm going to do some real, real severe testing. Because sometimes, for me, when I put a new golf club in the bag, it's very much looks. If I like the look of a golf club, it goes in the bag quite simply. Performance-wise, yes, it has to complement it, but I'm a very visual-looking player. If I like the look of a golf club, that's why I think this driver is hard to replace. It's, it's, it's hard to get, get rid of it unless something better-looking comes out or I lose it. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the new updated What's in the Bag. This is episode number three this year. If you want to see episode one start of the year, episode two just before open qualifying, the links are in the corner where the eye is, uh, just to see how it's developed and changed. I'm sure there'll be another one before the end of the year. I'm not going to change too much, but I feel like there's things that could be replaced. But if I went to play out golf right now, went and played, I would take this set minus one of the 60 degree wedges. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click thumbs up, comment below. We'll see you next time.